Hey what's up guys, this is Kenji here and today we have a quick tutorial on how to record PC gameplay and record your desktop and that sort of thing. Um, so you're going to want to head over to a site called uh, fraps.com and download well, fraps, the software. This is the software that uh, lets you record um, your games and the footage and everything. Let's capture it. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description if you're having trouble finding the website. It's www.fraps.com. Uh, you want to head to the buy tab here and buy the software. Now I think it's about $45 roughly uh, US. It's about uh, 47 Australian dollar. Now you can download a trial version if you wish, but there's a heap of limitations. And you know if you're serious about recording anything off your PC, I wouldn't recommend it. To be honest, I'd just go and buy the the full version. Uh, so once that's all downloaded and installed. Uh, open up Fraps, and this is what you're met with. Four tabs up the top here. Uh, so you're going to start off with general. Um, so go to actually, you know what? Leave all of these uh, here as default, pretty much, unless you don't want this always on top. I just have it there. Um, this one here, this monitor aero desktop. That lets you record your desktop. So as I'm recording now, that's uh, me recording Fraps. That's me, sorry, recording the desktop with Fraps. Um, if I'm recording gameplay, like in if it's in a windowed mode or, or I just want the gameplay or whatever, I will turn that off. So next, go over to your FPS tab. Um, you're going to want to make a folder just for Fraps on your hard drive that has a lot of space um, for your screenshots, movies, all of that. Because Fraps uh, files are massive. They're massive, massive files. So you need a lot of space on a hard drive to be able to cope with it. So make a separate file for that somewhere in your computer and set all these three tabs here are going to have a sort of like file folder to save it to. Change that to the, the Fraps folder that you're going to make specifically for it. Um, all this I'll leave the same so I don't use any of these hotkeys or anything. Uh, overlegs corner. So this is what displays how many frames you're getting and whether you're recording or not, I guess. Um, I'll just see if we can... Yeah, there we go. See in the top right, bottom right, bottom left. There we go. And top left. Um, it shows a small number. So, and red is indicating that I'm recording. If I'm recording desktop, I have it turned off because as you can see there, it records, it, it just, like it's in the recording. If I'm recording games, however, um, I have it turned on so I can see when it's recording and how many frames and that sort of thing just to make everything's running smoothly. Um, because yeah, it doesn't show up in the recording in games. Uh, so movies tab next. And this is going to be the tab you're probably going to be paying attention to the most. Once again, change that folder. Um, as you see, I just have a my movies and then fraps. So just do whatever you wish with that. Uh, hotkey. Just make sure it's something that you doesn't interfere with your game or anything else. Uh, I have mine set to F9. Uh, that's just what I prefer. So just as long as it's something out of the way, just use that. Uh, your frames. Just choose whatever you're going to like be rendering in. So I render in uh, 30 frames, so I record in 30. Uh, full size and half size. If you want full high definition, good quality, like all that jazz, go full size. However, to be full size, you will need a pretty decent computer. Um, perhaps is really intensive program. Uh, so if you've got, you know, your computer's not so great, it's starting to lag behind a bit, uh, just choose half size. Um, quality is still good, just not quite as good as, hot, as full size. Uh, leave that. Record Windows 7 sound. I have it checked. Up to you. And external input. So that's just your mic. Uh, I don't have that. I use a separate software for that. So but again, that's personal preference. These three here. Uh, sync audio and video. Or don't sync audio and video. I leave that unchecked. Hide mouse. Now, from, I guess it depends on the game I'm playing. Um, but definitely for recording this sort of tutorial, I leave uh, it unchecked. Um, 
But for games and stuff, it, as I said, it depends on the game. Sometimes, I'll just give you an example. As you can see, the mouse is here. Click it, and the mouse just disappears. Um, it depends on the game. Sometimes I have it checked. Sometimes I don't. Your choice. Screenshot, exactly the same. I leave all of this as is. Change the folder. Um, that's done. So that's essentially it, guys. Uh, that should get you up and running in fraps what you want to do open up fraps open up your game and hit your hotkey when you want to record hit it when you want to stop recording um, now to get to your fraps file pretty easily just hit view here and as you can see behind here this is where all the uh, uh, all the files are saved to so it's easier than going through your hard drives uh, so I hope you guys Manage to learn something from that and learn how to record your, your gameplay. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you have any questions or like the videos. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.